Hello guys! Today I'm going to transform an old microwave into a plastic welder. Stick around till the end to see how I do it. So, let's get started. First off, I need to take apart the microwave to get to the voltage transformer inside. I carefully cut off the wire connections and remove the transformer. Once I have it out, I clamp it down firmly and cut the secondary winding. Using a chisel, I remove the windings from the casing. Next, I take a cable and wind it for the new secondary winding. I make sure to peel off the ends of the cable and clamp cable lugs to it. Then, I grab a wooden strip and drill some holes in it. I screw the cable lugs and cable clamps onto the strip. Moving on, I take a copper rod and machine it to cut out two electrodes. These electrodes get inserted into the cable clamps. I make sure the cables are clamped securely and fix an acrylic glass cover to the sides. I then glue the top cover on and install an on-off switch for easy control. To ensure everything works smoothly, I solder a control relay and cover the terminals with shrink sleeves. I then take an iron sheet and weld sleeves to its corners, adding a side support and a nut to the sleeves. For the casing, I take another iron sheet and drill holes in its corners before painting the whole assembly. After that, I take a wire gauze sheet, mark it, and cut out a piece to wrap around the casing. I roll it around the casing and screw it in place. Then, I fix the transformer inside the casing and screw a handle to the cover. Finally, I secure the cover over the casing. For the finishing touches, I take steel wire and bend it into shape for staples. I insert the staple into the electrodes and switch on the machine. It's amazing how it turns red hot instantly. This makes it perfect for welding together cracked auto bumpers. Once the welding is done, I sand the area and apply sealant. After buffing the surface, I give it a fresh coat of paint. The machine can also be used for marking different patterns on workpieces. Just watch out and be careful while using it. 